what I can tell you is that the Department of Defense has confirmed that uh, Mokhtar Bel Mokhtar was, in fact, the target of a counterterrorism strike that was taken in Libya over the weekend. Um, uh, Mokhtar Bel Mokhtar has a long history of leading terrorist activities as a member of AQIM. Uh, he is an Al Qaeda associated terrorist and the operational leader of an organization called Al Mir Bitun uh, in Northwest Africa. Uh, I am not in a position at this point to confirm uh, the results uh, of the strike, uh, but when we have more details on that, we'll try to share it with you. Are you, you said he was targeted. Uh, do you know and can you confirm if he was killed? The, uh, there are experts who will take a close look at this, and it may take some time for them to uh, fully evaluate the results of this strike. Uh, but when they have uh, reached a conclusion about uh, the results, uh, we'll let them make that announcement. Hold on. We continue to encourage our allies to be similarly serious about upholding. Do you think he could tear down to almost no detainees by the time he leaves office? And I can confirm for you that there were six individuals uh, who had been held at the prison at Guantanamo Bay that had been transferred to the custody of the Omanis. Uh, prior to any transfer like this taking place, uh, the Secretary of Defense must certify that there are uh, restrictions in place that limit the threat to the national security of the United States. Uh, that's something that the Secretary of Defense has to certify. Uh, we typically do not, in public, discuss precisely the security measures that are in place, uh, but the transfer would not have occurred if the Secretary of Defense uh, were not satisfied that the threat that these individuals pose to American national security was not sufficiently mitigated. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. No, no friends, no part. Stevie Wonder. You're not going to tell us. <laughs> Josh, what was in the note? Uh, just that I should wrap it up. <laughs>